In this video, I'll be taking you through the simple steps on how to service the new Vortex filter. If you're looking to install the unit, check out our installation video. When servicing the Vortex filter range, we recommend that you allow the system to cool before following any of these steps. Servicing and cleaning your filter is really simple and you shouldn't need any tool. There are two options for cleaning, a flush or a full strip down and clean. I'll be taking you through both step by step. Each cleaning method requires you to isolate the filter by turning both valves 90 degrees clockwise. Next, simply remove the magnet from the top of the unit. Then remove the cap from the flush valve, place it in the valve handle, but don't turn it yet. Before emptying the filter, you'll need something to catch the dirty water. I would normally use a drain down drain. If space is an issue, you can use a normal drain hose to connect to the drain valve and empty into a suitable container. And now we're ready to go. The cap of the flush valve acts as an easy to turn handle. So open this up by turning it 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Then open the bottom isolation valve halfway by turning it about 45 degrees anti-clockwise. With the magnet removed from the unit, you'll see all the dirt start to flow out with the water. Once you see the water running clearly, simply close the isolation valve, then the flush valve. You may want to show the householder what has been collected before you dispose of the dirty water. With the filter all cleaned, simply put the cap back on the flush valve, reinsert your magnet and open your isolation valves. Make sure that you top up the system to the correct pressure. Let's look now at the second method for cleaning the filter. This more in-depth cleaning option can be used if you want to take the filter off the pipework to clean it. However, this option can only be used if you have isolation valve. So the first step is to isolate the filter by turning the isolation valves 90 degrees clockwise. Drain water from the unit using your preferred method, but remember, you don't need to take the magnet out at this stage. Unscrew the T-piece collar and remove the unit. Have a cloth handy to catch any drips. Once you're somewhere suitable, you can remove the magnet sheath. If you want to show the householder what has been collected, this is an ideal way to do it. Then remove the magnet and rinse away the dirt collected. Rinse the rest of the unit before reassemble. Remember, the system will need a slight top-up. And that's it. Your filter is clean and ready to continue protecting your system. Any collected debris should be removed at the annual visit. If you find that the filter is catching a lot of debris, this can be a sign that there is active corrosion happening in the system. To ensure ongoing protection, check inhibitor levels with a Sentinel Quick Test Kit and top up X100 if necessary. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.